so today it is day 13 of 15 days of foundation. There are only two days left, sadness. If you're new here, this is where I've been trying out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. Days one through 12 are linked down below in the 15 days of foundation playlist. And today we're gonna be talking about the Hard Candy Mix-In Pigment Makeup Drops. When these came out, I think this was the one of the most requested products to review. I was super excited when these came out for a couple reasons. Hard Candy typically has very pale light shades, which is great. Their Glamouflage foundation in porcelain is like one of the lightest products I found. But these reminded me of the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops, which I personally love. I talk more about these in the video when I'm applying it. But it was cool to see Drugstore Alternative come out. It's taken me this long to review these because I, it has been a freaking mission to get my hands on these things. I don't know why, but the Walmart in Seattle didn't have these. I couldn't find them online for forever. I finally ended up getting them online Walmart when they came out. So I ordered three shades for you guys to swatch different ones, even though I'm obviously using the lightest shade, which is Fair 1. All right, swatch time. So right here is the Hard Candy Pigment Drops in Fair 1. Next to it is Fair 2 Light 1. This is the Etude BB Concealer Foundation in the lightest shade. A few of you guys have asked me to include a foundation that I think is closest to my skin tone. And when I apply this one, I think this foundation is the closest match I've come to for my skin tone. This is Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless 110. And at the end, the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops in N10. So in both the Cover Effects and this, you get 0.5 fluid ounces as a product. They have 12 shades of this online Walmart. So let's read some of the claims. It says they're highly concentrated liquid pigments that allow you to customize any face product for coverage or shade. Squeeze the dropper, add drops to any daily moisturizer, primer, or to create a custom foundation. So mixing it in with another foundation. The more drops you add, the higher the coverage. You can also add light or dark drops to any liquid makeup to custom match your skin tone. This one retails for $7, which is very affordable. On Sephora, this one retails for $44, so obviously ginormous price difference there. But this thing will seriously last you so long because you only need a couple drops in each each time you use it. So that's all of the claims on here. Hard candy is cruelty free. If you're enjoying 15 Days of Foundation, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You can join the Bay Radio family by subscribing if you're new here. If you want to see how the Hard Candy Glamouflage Mix-In Pigment Drops, I feel like this is a long ass name, apply and wear throughout the day, you're in the right place, just keep watching. All right, so it is 9.14 right now in the morning. It's Saturday when I'm filming this. Christy is actually coming today and we're going to Vlogger Fair tomorrow, Sunday, so. That will have already happened by the time you guys see this, but I hope I got to meet some of you Seattle people. I've already washed, moisturized, primed my face, used my Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. So I've swatched Fair One on the back of my hand a little bit, and the consistency is very oily almost. It kind of feels like the Unique foundation, but with more coverage. It doesn't really feel anything like the Cover Effects drops to me. This one is totally fine mixing in with moisturizers, primers, whatever, but this one I think would be best mixed in with another foundation. So I'm gonna try mixing it in with one that I love and that I know how it performs. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in 510. I have a whole other review on this product. I absolutely love this. It's one of my most reached for foundations, but it is too dark. So I'm gonna try mixing it in with the Fair One shade, see if we can lighten it a little bit. And with this foundation, I sometimes do like one and a half layers just to get the kind of coverage I like. So I'm hoping this will add a little bit of coverage and lighten it. And since this is super mattifying, I'll kind of know if this product alters that by the end of the night, this foundation literally holds up the entire day and looks amazing. So it says to shake well, and I can hear why. Super, super liquidy. I'm gonna do my sponge on one side, brush on the other, Sigma F80 like usual, just to see how both apply. I typically use a brush with this product. All right, so I've got about that amount of foundation. Wow, this is really liquidy. One, I'm not even squeezing. Let's try four drops. That just went on the outside of the bottle because it's literally so liquidy. I wasn't squeezing the topper at all, it just kind of comes out. Okay, so it looks like it lightened it a little bit. It definitely feels very thin. Ooh, smells very chemically. Is it weird that I feel like this is actually giving me less coverage? I'm definitely gonna have to do a second layer. You can still see a lot coming through down here. And I usually get way better coverage with that BB cream. It did lighten it though, for sure. Looking like more satin finish right now. Let's try the brush on this side. I'm just gonna stipple it on. All right, so here we have one layer. Definitely lightened it, but also lighter coverage than I usually get. So I'm gonna use a sponge to go in for a second layer and see if we can build this up. 
Okay, there we go. Much better coverage on the second layer. Now we're at about high medium. I've gotten comments lately about how I like beat my face with the beauty blender. <laughs> I can't help it, you guys. I'm just trying to get shit done. I don't got all day to pounce around the beauty blender on my face. Two layers, we're looking good. It does feel like it's setting like the CoverGirl one does, so that's good. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. I will be right back. Right now, we're calling the check-in time. It's 9.25, so let's just call it 9.30. All right, so the rest of my makeup's on. It's now 9.49. Christy is on her way right now, so I need to freaking get my shit together. Literally tried to say this 15 times. So to set my face, I use the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin, there we go, powder in the shade 10 Porcelain. This product I can set or not set, but I usually set it if I'm gonna be wearing it for a full day. Everything blended out totally fine on top. I think basically what this product did uh, at least with this foundation was just lighten it. I didn't really see any added coverage at all. One of the cool things about the Cover FX drops is that you literally can take a light coverage foundation into full coverage. I love this product. I don't have a full review on this yet, but this is one of my favorite foundation products ever made. I think it's an awesome idea and the finish and everything is beautiful, but I do think these break me out a little bit, which is why I don't reach for it like every day. If you just search Cover FX custom cover drops, the Tayla, all the videos I've used it in, I think there's a couple shadow and schmooze will come up. This one didn't really seem to add any coverage to me. It did help to lighten it, but I feel like it changed the finish and formula a little bit. So for me, I'd probably just reach for a foundation lightener, like a white mixer over this. When I do the wrap up video at the end of this series. I will try this product in different ways. So I'm not totally ruling that out, but just the feel of this feels very greasy to me. So on the rest of my face, kind of blush and bronzer, I use Pixi Subtly Sun Touch. I know I've used this 5,000 times during this series, but I love this product. Highlight, I tried out this new Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Light in 01. Super pretty kind of pinky. So it's on my highlight. Should I say highlight again? So on my eyes, all I used was the Morphe 35OM palette. This has pretty much any warm, whoa, where are you going? This has pretty much any warm matte shade you could ever want in life. Lipstick is Maybelline 920 Nude Lust. And I carved out my brows today and I used the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. I saw Kristen Leanne doing this on Instagram, I think, in a video. And this is actually perfect for carving out your brows because it's super thick. This is not great for underneath your eyes and I don't really like this for spot concealing, but for carving out your brows is awesome because it's light enough and it's very thick so it doesn't like slide around or anything. So I think that's everything. I'm gonna try and pop in between the last check-in since Chrissy's here we'll probably be out doing stuff we're calling the check-in time 9 30 see you guys in a few hours all right so it is now 2 42 so the foundation's been on for a little over five hours there's someone walking by right now so this is fun so I just dropped Christy off somewhere and got my nails done I'm just in the parking lot right now but I don't think I'll be home for a while so I figured we would just do this on my iPhone I feel like my face has oxidized a little bit I probably could have mixed in a little bit more of the mixer but right now I'm gonna get super up close it looks pretty good I have a little bit of creasing around my nose right here place on bikes and then a tiny tiny bit in the center of my face but everything else looks really smooth and matte still like the CoverGirl foundation usually does so right now looking good i'm gonna go pick up christy and i think we're gonna go to dinner and just hang out i will check back in at the end of the night all right so it is now 9 13 pm so the foundation's been on for 12 hours everything looks pretty much the same as when i would wear this foundation just by itself except i feel like i am breaking down a little bit more in the center of my forehead than I normally do. For being on for 12 hours, I think it looks pretty dang good. Like it doesn't, it's not separating anywhere majorly. To me, I just think the cover effects drops are worth the splurge. I think it did an okay job lightening it. I think it just makes sense to go in with a white foundation mixer if you're using it for that purpose. If you want more coverage, I really don't think these are gonna do it. Like I said, I think it actually sheared out the foundation a little bit more. If these had more coverage, I think it would make sense, but just the consistency of it, how they're super oily and almost feel greasy, I don't know, something about it I'm not that into, but I will continue to try these. I'm gonna try mixing it in with just a moisturizer or primer just to see how much coverage I can get on its own with this, and I'll update you guys in the wrap-up video. So the way that I used it today, I think these ones are a pass for me. I should probably just do a full review on this product or demo to show you like different ways you can use it because these are freaking awesome and I feel like I don't talk about them enough. So just my two cents on this one, not totally worth it for what they're intended for. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Christy's in the other room right now, so I'm gonna go. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.